Holy shit. All right, I'm just letting y'all know. I let uh, Steve Stroberger put up the sign here. And, uh, you know, we're not, we're, not, uh, t we're not friends. We've never shared a meal together, that type of stuff. But, you know, at the same time, I was pissed off. I still am. I was pissed off at the other county commissioners for following the science. You know, leaders don't freaking just do what they're told. That's, that's, the, that's the opposite of what leaders are supposed to do. But they did. They did what they were told, so I've been aggravated with them. Hopefully, Bergash will, from the diocese, hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll grow some balls and he'll say, hey, yeah, yeah, we did. We did some terrible shit up here. We did the, follow the science, and it turns out it was all lies from Fauci and company and corporations, uh, pharmaceutical corporations, the CDC, the FDA, the you know, the, NI, the NIH, the NIAID, all these crooked ass, they're all in bed together. So hopefully he'll, he'll say something from the diocese about six foot social distancing and get your shots, get your jabs, you gotta get them. Like, you know, Lumen and all of them, they were up there. Well, that's what the experts told us, Larry. <laughs> so anyhow, all bullshit, all lies. Six foot was bullshit number. Face mask never worked. It's all bullshit. So, anyways, closing down the beach was bullshit. Closing down the outdoors, y'all fucking did that. I want a fucking apology. All right. Anyway, sorry. Um, let the language go. But anyhow, tell me this slogan here. Time for a change. Is this where we are? I would like to see one slogan that was more, you know, more balls, more, uh, you know, say. I'm sick of this fucking shit. <laughs> it could be, it could be, uh, hey, I'm gonna, uh, I'm your man, not person. <laughs> I'm the best person for the job. Come on, let's get away from all that shit. So anyways, just to give y'all a little bit of a backstory, uh, I've always been against uh, people, people, you hear that shit? Especially men, you know, it's supposed to be men going to a man's house and just knocking on his door campaign candidates uh i don't care who you are you think you can just walk up into people's people's property go up in their in, in their homes or you know they walk up to their domicile where we're where supposed to be you know that's your that's your place that's where you live you have your family you think it's okay just to walk up to people's doors and i got no trespassing signs everywhere this so much went right past all the no trespassing signs came up with his little Steve Strohlberger sign, uh, you know, his little flyers he hangs on the doors. That pisses me off. I told the Census Bureau to get the fuck off my property. It's bullshit. They just think they can walk past some signs that say no trespassing. All of the codes are the no trespassing. I mean, mine even goes farther. It says, I'll put it in here. Mine says uh, 5000 per person per day. Yeah, that's what land use fee. Yeah, these are real freaking codes. But no. They don't pay no attention to that shit. They just go right in. They think that they're so important that they can just come up to your house and knock on the door, not even call, not even see if you're home. Just hope you're home. I was just hoping you were home. I them even when we had landlines, you know, the old zip, zip, you could still call. <laughs> I was in the fucking 40s. So anyhow, I just can't, I can't support this. I can't do it, so I'm pulling this sign down right now, right now. Here it comes. So anyways, we're going to pull this sign down. This is the way it was put up, too, right here. All right, I'm going to call and tell him to come get it so he can take it to some other fucker's place. Now, take a look here. Best damn sheriff we ever had. Best damn sheriff ever. And you, as you can see, protecting what we value most. That's what I put up there. You know, the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of Rights, you know, uh, liberty. What was it that Patrick Henry said? Give me liberty or give me death. How far have we drifted from that? If it'll save one life, just one life, give up all your liberty. That's what that slogan says. You know, the government comes up with, with, with slogans that, are, that turn us into a rat nation. What is it up? see something say something this, this is where we are it's it, and they'll tell you well larry there's just a few bad apples that's why we can't have any liberty how far have we drifted 
from the basic principles of liberty. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. These fuckers think that you're entitled to somebody else's labor today. They think that health care is, is a human right. That would mean that plumbing would be a human right. I mean, what's the difference? Plumbers save lives. <laughs> It's it's the whole it's it's the whole mindset of where we've drifted from that that takes away from where we you know how this country was founded you know just do what you're told Larry let's just do let's just follow the orders that's what the guy said out at the Fort McRae in 2020 when they when our governor said we have to have our boats 50 feet apart no more than 10 per boat six foot social distancing you believe that shit. That really happened? And I said, no, we're not gonna follow the orders. Come, that, that, that little weak ass bastard next to me, you look it up on my YouTube channel. He goes, guys, 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 let's just follow the orders, man. <laughs> it was sick, it was sick. And it, I mean, I don't understand how we've drifted from give me liberty, give me death, you know, or give me death to if it'll save one life. That That's where we are. So anyhow, that sign is Steve Stroberger's sign. I can't support him for county commissioner. Uh, he's too wishy-washy. He also tells me on one hand that, uh, you know, that's the genius of We Are Perdido. The genius of We Are... We, we want a city government out here? Like the city of Pensacola out here in Perdido? Are you kidding me? These bunch of city slicking fuckers. <laughs> so anyhow, y'all make up y'all's own decision. Uh, who you who you gonna vote for? You know, you ain't got a lot of you ain't got a lot of choices because good men can hardly. I mean, uh, good men can hardly run for an office these days. I mean, hell, they they attack you from every angle in the world. It, 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 anything the the you gotta you gotta worry about your. I mean, look at what they're doing to Trump. Same shit. I mean, you gotta worry about your family. Are they gonna attack your family? Are they gonna attack your properties? Your business? I mean, I, I don't understand how how we can right, you know, right this wrong <laughs> that's been done all these years. I don't have a solution. I just know there's a problem. And if we, if we if can't come up with a solution, time for a change is not a solution. We've had change after change. I mean, look, look at all these bitches that come in with all their little slogans. I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna fix that. Only thing I wanna see is less government. You ever seen one of them come in and say, hey, we're not gonna give you more free shit. Oh, they can't do that. We're, oh, just like uh, for, for District uh, District 4, County Commissioner Forum, they had a little debate on the ones running for it. And I asked them, I said, hey, I, I asked them two questions. I said, are y'all for, are you for less government? And would you vote to do away with the $50,000 a year slush fund that the county commissioners get? They said, yeah, I'm for less government. <laughs> All of them said that. Then they said, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't vote away that $50,000 uh, uh, slush fund. <laughs> it's a discretionary fund, technically. But I wouldn't vote to do away with it. It does a lot of good. Do you see how those things contradict each other? <laughs> No, I'm not giving up that 50 grand, but I'm for less government. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, just to let y'all know, I had to take this sign down. I, 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 this is where we are. I told Bergash I could stand behind him if, if he can get up there at the podium and do what the fuck is right, which is apologize to us for closing down the beaches. Oh, I know, Bergash, you were listening to the experts of the hospitals. Oh. <laughs> And the sheriff. Uh, at the time, Sheriff Morgan, you was listening to the sheriff. How, 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 about, how about you just don't violate our rights? How about you don't tell us we can't go outdoors on our own fucking property? <laughs> how about you do that? Apologize for it. Apologize for freaking having all those signs in the seats. Uh, uh, you know, having them six feet apart and not allowing everybody who wanted to come in to the meetings. Yeah, y'all had a certain amount of people who could come in and that was it. That's bullshit. If you got an empty seat, they all should be filled. Because all of that was bullshit. Everything that y'all followed, telling people, having vaccine drives, COVID vaccine drives here in our county, 
Hey, that, that was all bullshit. Y'all ain't supposed to give people medical advice. I don't give a fuck. You just don't do it. It's wrong. And now we know, people I know, <laughs> locally, are on heart medication after getting two or three of the COVID shots. And if you're one of those, God damn it, and you're a leader, don't you think you owe it to your fellow man to tell them? To tell them that you ain't ever had a heart condition? And now you do? <laughs> and the only thing that changed was getting two injections or three? Don't you think you owe it to us? But I get it. Some people will say it's political suicide, Larry. Well, I tell you what, it, what one thing it is for sure, it's not having the fucking balls to say what's right, to say what happened, to admit that you followed the wrong science, right? All right, I gotta go. Y'all can check me out on missionobvious.com. Uh, I got a bunch of videos there. I'm dropping some more today. Also, you can check me out on YouTube, Larry For Real. Uh, I got another little obscured YouTube channel that they sh they shut down. I reopened. It's called American Trades Association. And you can also find me on, what's the other one? Uh, Instagram. All right. Adios.